You're talking about the old eye, sometimes in this case being the source of jealousy and arrogance. Mm -hmm. Like, I am jealous of you. I am arrogant. Mm -hmm. What if you know and you know and you understand why others could be jealous or others can be arrogant? What can you do about it to help others? I think most of these practice are for changing oneself first. If someone is jealous of you or arrogant, usually we will react, react to it negatively or we have suffering. So the practice here is uh, not to fall on that trap, reacting to others' negative emotions. That is the first practice. It would be very hard to change others if we cannot change ourselves. So the practice is basically changing oneself. So first, the others cannot really affect, bring negative effect on you. And then you have the compassion, you make all the good wishes that you can help more. Yeah. So when you, this is very important, even though it looks very unclear how it works. Many pe people have good heart and try to help others, but then they fail. <laughs> In many cases they fail again and again, and they give up. They're discouraged by all these circumstances, even though they, have, they started with a good heart and then they fail. If you help yourself already, if you train your mind not to be affected by others' negative emotions, then your chance of failing in helping others will be much lower. But if we work on ourselves first, much better, if we make ourselves very stable, then we can go much further. When we don't expect some kind of appreciation from others for our good works. You hear that? <laughs> uh, our practice will be much better. We can have a lot more. Hey, I have a question, I guess about um, when you feel, okay, now I shouldn't be jealous, but you're still jealous then you have a struggle within yourself. Um, <laughs> That's good. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're aware of that problem. You then haven't solved the problem, but you, you're aware of the you're problem. You're aware of the problem, yeah. but now, now your conflict doesn't totally resolve. You're just, you feel inhibited. Right. Okay, I'm not going to say this, but I want to, or I want to feel this, but I... Uh-huh. So the solution to that is? I say good because you already notice, you know, um, so there's a conflict. You, in many cases there's no conflict, it's one way, right? You don't even notice it. Then the problem is endless. But if you notice it, then there's a good chance you will work on it. So that's the practice. Yeah. Practice always have tension. If there's no tension, it is not practice. <laughs>